This is Tressa, and Tressa has an unusual history. She, uh, we're not going to use any names, we're, we sus is suspected that she had an adverse reaction to uh, a pharmaceutical drug uh, that has resulted in uh, the sudden onset of uh, tonic-clonic seizures. And Tressy, this has been happening for what, about 20 months or so now? More than 17. 17 months. Okay, got it. And uh, in that time, how many seizures have you had? Can you count? Hundreds. Hundreds of seizures. Yes. Full blown epileptic, tonic clonic seizures. Yeah. Okay. Like poltergeist seizures, not like poltergeist. Like she's another, she's inhabited by another body. I mean, clear. This high off the floor scared me to death. I seen 30 in one day back to back. I was told they were um, grandma seizures, convulsions, you name it, they told me. Where have you been studied? Where, who's done studies on you? I've gone to um, Wheeling, Wheeling Hospital, Ohio Valley Medical Center. Um, is, it, is it Ruby? Ruby seizure. Ruby's in Morgantown. Dr. Brick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We stayed there four days in the seizure section with the E, whatever, that scan on her brain yeah. and on camera. They could see her in a seizure, but this was showing no activity. So that the EG was basically calm? Yes. Yeah. They said it was not an epileptic seizure, and the whole time she was on epileptic meds. And your seizures are stimulated by what? Right. Light. Yeah, we figured it out that it was light. Okay. Is it the intensity of light or the sudden change in light? What? The initial, like, um, like a flash, take you know, the, the bulb in the room blows out. Yeah. It'll put me in a seizure. Okay. And no. it also, if I have, like, severe headaches, I mean, to the point where open my eyes and it hurts, I have them too. Okay. And uh, Gary, you told me that, that she actually had a seizure while she was wired up. Well, she had several. Several. They put a light in her eye when she go into to a seizure. It. Yeah, and it'd be like, you and know, that, that was I made them, this, I did that for four days. Mm -hmm. I sat in the chair next to her because you're not allowed to leave them in the seizure section. Mm -hmm. Sure. So we come back like two, three weeks later, thinking that he's going to have the cure, she's going to be okay. And he's like, I don't know, uh, we'll try it again. I'll admit her. January 26th, this was December 3rd when she was in there the first time. No, he said that he was going to do more testing. More testing. He said, I'll admit her. January 26th, if we get, he said, I'll admit her. And we thought he was going to do different kinds of tests. We get there to get her wired up there, what put this light in her eye, and I wouldn't let him. I said, you got it all filmed, you got on that thing, don't put her in a seizure for no reason if you don't know what you're doing. And they're like, well, we got to, maybe something changed. I said, nothing changed, you know. I know, I went her 24-7. Yeah. So I made him unhook her, and we left. So, like, they ain't a little mad at me. Well, yeah, they, but what they want to see, they want to see it was repeatable, I'm sure. Well, I know it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, um, and I, I can see both sides of the argument. Uh, we were scared. Uh, That's uh, the worst part. Uh, uh, yeah, understandably. We're not scared here. Well, well, they told me if I went to a seizure, they were going to do nothing for me anyway. Because it was very well registered on the EEG or whatever it was called. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, it's not going to kill me. Mm -hmm. but they didn't climb in my body after I was done. Now, yeah. they went on the pain, it was unreal. I mean, unreal. On a scale of 0 to 10? It went to 20 quickly Tw after that. To 20. Okay. Some days I'd be down and so When you walked in here two weeks ago today, you were uh, kind of curled up wearing a pair of uh, sun dark 
dark, dark sunglasses. Do you still have those glasses? It's foam. everywhere I go. Have you noticed they got foam around them to block out? Solar shields. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah. Um, okay. I had to use them one time. But I put them over these glasses because when I went outside, the sun was really, really bright. And so I put them over my glasses. Now, but before the, we put the prisms on, how, how often would you use these glasses? All day, every day. All day, every day. Yeah. Plus, she'd keep her hands over her eyes. Yeah. And they, them did not help her at all. She'd still go into seizures. So that even with, uh, even with these glasses, you could still seize? Yes. Well, she would, yes. Yeah. And um, you said, uh, Gary, you said she's had hundreds of seizures. Oh, I'd say, yeah, I'd say a thousand since it started, probably. Close to it, anyway. How many seizures have you had in the past two weeks? Zero. Zero. I've seen her have them in her sleep, though. Hey. Oh, really? Yes. I seen her have them in her sleep. He said, "Well, I'm sleeping. I have them." Now, this was I ain't seen that in a long time, but I have seen it once when she was having them through the day, and I think it, it just like it, it wasn't a bad seizure like usual. Mm, yeah. But she was sound asleep and had a seizure. Um. The um, prior to uh, coming in to see me, your. Uh, most recent, the seizure before that was caused by what? A big lighter. The light, the flash of a lighter. Uh, what, a, a lighter? Yeah, the, lighter the, the, the flint. Okay. Now, if you light the lighter, like I can light a lighter here without her seeing a flint, bring the flame around and it doesn't bother. Oh. Yes. At all. That's but if I light I'm glad you clarified that. It's, so that's, the, the, it's the spark it's from the, spark the flint. The lighter. Yes. And then, now, with this, she'd get right into a seizure. Like if the lights went dim and if went I bright, she'd have a seizure. Off. Now with these glasses... And you light a lighter, it's over. <laughs> now if you light it, she just has stomach pain. Now, yeah, I walk in a room pain. with her in front of me, in a dark room, from a lighter yeah. room, and I just hit the switch, turn on the light, boom, she's in a seizure. Now, she walks in the rooms, and it seems like with these glasses, when we turn on the light, it doesn't bother. I close my eyes. That's why I didn't try that yet. Okay. I keep. My well, let's remember that when we when you left, I, I didn't want you uh, oh, so, uh, you know just rolling out into the into the waiting room. Well, you know, uh, and, I, and you did it anyway. And we <laughs> passed cop cars you know with their lights flashing. She looked at them. We were going home. I said, "It's now or never." She looked at the cop car. I'm not trying to please drive. Please don't do that to me. I'm trying to drive. I said, it's an hour number. I mean, I just got my heart for it. Was, was it the rotating lights or was it the flashing lights? lights? The flashing lights. The flashing ones. The flashing ones. Them real didn't bright. Yeah, the halogen lights. Yeah. yeah. It didn't bother me one bit. I was so relieved. She was happy and cheery. I was like telling him, let's go and find the fire truck. And here comes another cop car. Go find the fire truck. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted me to find the fire truck to see if it works. So we find another cop car. And I told her, as long as they ain't behind us with the lights on, I'm happy. And I, I, just, uh, I don't want to get pulled over to see if these glasses work, in other words. And well, uh, I'm not interested in, uh, in trying to test the, your seizure uh, with or without the glass. I don't think that's my role. Um, uh, you've, had, you've worn the glasses all the time since I've seen you? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, have you tried taking them? Have they been off for any length of time? Have you had them off for half an hour, an hour? For my showers. For showers. Did, did what happens during that time? Do you survive, or do, do you know, or would I it have been a problem? I turn all the lights out. Okay, you turn all the lights yeah, out. Yeah, I don't. I didn't try it with no lights or anything. I okay. just turn them all out. Well, one of the things. That, oh, as time goes on here, we'll, we'll want to. Uh, see if there's, and, and I, I want you to just discover it naturally, I don't want you to go provoking anything, but whether or not there's a treatment effect, mm -hmm. whether or not the glasses change, oh, changing something that will allow you to go for periods without them. Okay. Uh, but uh, I want to re-examine you today, and um, uh, because I thought that nearsightedness might go away, I thought that was maybe stress-related. 
Okay. Uh, there's a little bit of nearsightedness, and I thought maybe to go away. So we'll do the same thing we did uh, two said weeks ago. You have had, you told me you had two uh, symptoms uh, since since then. Uh, what was it? Was one one was with the lighter? Yes. Okay. What happened? With the prisms on? It felt like somebody punched me really hard in my stomach. Now, how long did that sensation last? I'd say about five minutes. Five minutes. At the most. Now the, it was like at the ten, I go to an eight. Yeah, they go down. Go down to a four, and then it get, and I keep an hour because any other time she'd already be in seizures. Yeah. And the other time was when? The yellow line. Oh, yellow line on the on the yeah. curb. She, we were just walking by the sidewalk. So I took her out day and night. I mean, I went to every light I could find, flashing neons, cop cars, yeah. like just walking her even. And she couldn't even walk. Now remember when yeah. she come in here, yeah, she, she was on a cane. She was yeah. <gasps> That's right. She has not used her cane. I, I put the cane down. What's that about? She's not in no more pain. No more pain. She was in severe pain from her head to her toes. Yeah. Until she put on these prisms. My foot was asleep for about six months now. And now I, I can feel my toes and everything. You know, I make a lousy researcher because research is supposed to be cold and objective. Researchers do not go. <gasps> <laughs> when, when you somebody tells us about not using a cane anymore, I'm a, it's but like, that's this is remarkable. Like, no, this is you know, I lived fifty years of my life. I've seen a lot. Of devil, I've never seen the Lord in my life. And in the past month, I got sick, and I begged the Lord just don't let her have a seizure. Now she's been having seizures all the time. Why is she not in a seizure? Why I'm in this hospital? Is she lied to me? And Adam didn't tell me. She, as soon as they get out of the hospital, she's back in the seizures. And then some other things. But when I come here, I never expected nothing because, you know, we've been to everybody. I thought the smartest people in the world. I thought she was going to be healed. I always didn't want to believe it was something that we suspected it because then we could have an answer. There are some simple answers here. We something. just need to understand them. Uh, uh, and uh, and it's obvious that we're doing something different with the pathways in the brain, doing something different that is resu resulting in a different physical, physiological reaction. And uh, we just need to understand this. And you may be uh, part of the answer to a puzzle for a lot of people. Uh, it's not going to work on everybody. I had no guarantee that it would work on you. Just it was, it's a tool that nobody's tried. And that's what we're looking at. It's a, it's a intervention. Nobody's trying. Tristan, thank you. I'm going to turn the camera off right now, and uh, I thank you for this. And uh, well, but on, on on a scale, let's do this for as, a, as a final thing. On a scale of zero to ten, where ten is where the way is as bad as it was, and where you, you, where you were before, where is your seizure affecting your life now? Are you at, are you at a five? Are you above a five? Are you below a five? Now one being like real zero, healthy, zero, zero, zero would be no problem. Yeah, no. Just totally healthy. Since you got the glasses. Since you got the glasses. Okay. I would say I'm down to it too because of the lighter and the cameras. And, and I'm saying, you. I'm saying. Oh, hey, I don't know. She's saying it too because she knows. You're the caregiver. Lot. You're the caregiver. But I'm the one been with her 16 months, 24 7. I'm saying she's down to almost a normal life. Almost. Almost, almost to zero. I mean, almost to zero. It's like. I keep waiting for something to happen because I want, I, I, I want I to be the too. critic. I would too. You know, I want to be the critic of this. You know what I mean? And I can't find no reason it's a very to fair, criticize fair, it. There's a very fair statement. You've you got to be skeptical yet. But, I'm, but I can't find a reason. Okay. That's, that's, good. that's a good way to finish this. I appreciate it.